How's everybody doing? My name is David Mars. I'm with Mars HVAC Services and also with HVACR Design University. And I have some big news that just came out of RightSoft today. Just released. They released the Universal 2018 Service Pack. What I thought was pretty cool about this. I downloaded it today and checked out some of the new features that they got to help us uh, with um, with design and some of our reports and all that. But one of the first things they have is we can set our ACH for infiltration in the blower door, which means that we can go up here to options. Instead of using the simplified method, we can go to blower door method, and then we can click on the airflow for a from ACH, and we can manually type in what our ACH is. That will give us our leakage amounts in square inches. That's a pretty new, interesting way of taking care of the infiltration in a house, especially if we've already done a blower door and you already have your ACH to put in there. You can get a more accurate heat load. Uh, the next aspect is if we right click on the white area of the screen and we go into building, we can go over and set our colors on the multi-zone colors either on a per system or a per zone basis whenever we're doing that. Another really cool aspect is if we put our ductwork up, it now has the option for it is located in ducts and it shows it right here, show longest run ducts as thick lines. And we can go ahead and have it show us the, the longest runs that we have. Pretty cool little feature. Another cool feature that they have is if we go into our ducts and to our duct preference, now we can select supply register sizes. We can make a library up of all of our typical sizes and then they will show up on the D form and they will also show up on the, uh, the duct layout as well. Another cool thing is our duct and register preferences, we can separate them out on a per floor basis. So you click on that and then we can choose which floor that we want to put it on. And each floor can have a different type of duct that we can set up from the preferences. That right there helps save a lot of time. All right, another cool feature. This one I like a lot is I'm going to draw a couple rooms over here. We can merge our rooms together. So I'm going to draw two rooms. Now, if you notice, we have additional buttons off to the side. So to merge them together, we're going to take both those rooms, highlight both of them, click on the merge rooms button, and it now becomes one room. And we can also take that one room and we can split it. So now we decided that we want to add a smaller room inside there. Make us re-click on that room. Click on the room splitter button. And now this is going to be similar to the, the button where um, the room by room wall by wall in which you click and hold down. You measure out how far you want to go. Then click again, then click again. Click again, and we have another room selected. Hit the split rooms, and we now have two separate rooms. And I like that feature because you can do the footprint of a house, and then from that footprint, draw your rooms on the inside, and then split your rooms. That is going to make things a lot faster as well. That is a very nice add-in that they put in there. All right. The next thing is, uh, this is very, very cool. I'm going to delete this off of here. This is going to be with the ductwork and then the reports. They did a couple changes, or not changes, but add-ins with the reports. It's going to be duct, but showing it in multiple directions. So we're going to go over here to our reports. And under the ducts, it shows duct multi-orientation. Click on it and preview. 
And now our report's going to come up and show us what the duct sizes are going to be in the multiple different directions. <clears throat> and if you look on there, our register and roll sizes are on there as well, which right now they're set at a default of 12 by 12. But that is very, very cool. Bathroom two showing six, 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 six. Uh, then we got seven, seven, seven across the board there. We can see right here the two sixes changed to two sevens, depending on how it changes. Even goes into our supply trunks, the return branches, all the way through. I like this feature. This allows you to see your house in multiple directions and how your ductwork actually changes. All right, the next one is some new, oh, wrong button, some new J forms. And these are kind of interesting. They're kind of like the worksheet, but they're a little bit more cleaner and easier to read. And now if you look at that, that is a very nice, clean, and it's called Form J1. Much easier to read than the, uh, the worksheet. And then the other one is the J1 Form Worksheet A. And then this shows us all of our location and design conditions. So some pretty new changes. All right, y'all, pretty much that's all that I found on there for the changes that affect residential. There's some other things that went in with commercial and um, if you do Canadian loads, there's some changes for the Canadian loads as well, but I'm not gonna go into either one of those right now. But uh, remember, I'm gonna keep posting different little um, right soft tips. So I will see you all in the next couple of days. Take it easy.